we are taking questions from YouTube because if you're not aware, we recently joined YouTube and it's going well. But we've been getting a ton of questions in the YouTube comments section. And actually, this is a really great place to ask us questions and we love answering questions there. So shall we kick off with payment on account because it self-assessment season has just kind of passed. Filing deadline was 31st of January. This podcast is for general information only and does not constitute any form of advice and tax allowances and rates are subject to change. Question one was from a YouTube video we did for Locum GP. So actually I think about self, uh, self-assessment actually. It says, great talk and very informative. Thanks. I'm a full-time Locum GP self-employed i wonder what does payment on account mean i was looking for some advice about it and what i know is that it's five thousand pounds sorry we need to pay yearly on top of tax pensions and ni question marks thank you over to you mate yeah yeah thanks uh, thanks so much for the question and i'm really glad that you enjoyed the the talk um so the payment on account system is basically the way in which hmrc collect taxation for individuals who have uh, less than 80% of their income collected at source. So for a lot of doctors, for example, their um, income tax will be collected at source via their payslips. So they're unlikely to have to worry at all about this payment on account system. If but, you're self-employed, a partner, if you've got significant rental income or significant dividend income or anything where the government can't get their money straight away off you, um, you know, this is where the payment on account system uh, will come into play. Okay. So if you take for example some, someone who's self-employed like a gp locum um, but it could be anyone who's self-employed um self-employed locums you'll earn a taxable profit um the tax will not be collected at source on that taxable profit so you're going to fall into this payment on account scheme and that basically means that hmrc will think to themselves well we don't want to keep waiting every till every january to collect our tax from you we want you to start paying some money in advance um, so we can collect your tax a bit early okay so the first year in which you locum or the first year in which you have significant rental income or significant dividends or whatever reason it is that you fall into the payment on account system the first tax year nothing much kind of changes really you go up to the 5th of april and then you pay your tax on the 31st of january the following year okay now at this point hmrc will say okay we now know how much tax you owe for that that tax year thank you very much uh, we don't want to wait a whole year until January for more money from you. So we're going to charge you up front some of that tax that you're going to owe next year. Okay. Now, they have no idea how much tax you're going to be paying in, in a year's time. Nobody does. You may have some inkling. Maybe you know that your profit's going to go up or down, whatever. But most people have no idea. And HMRC are just the same. So what they say is they pretend that the following year you're going to have exactly the same tax bill. And what they then say is, well, thank you very much, Dr. Vlogs. You paid us X amount of money this January. We're going to ask you for a payment in advance for the following January. And that's going to be 50% of your current tax bill. And then in July, you pay another 50%. So that by July, you would have paid a whole amount. That, that tax you would do that was due in January, you'll be paying that all over again, half in January, half in July. And when it does get to finally to that, that year next year, um, they will deduct the amount you paid against your actual tax bill. Okay, so as an example, if you did have, um, you know, taxable profits that led to a tax bill in January of five thousand um, pounds, then uh, what the HMRC will say is, okay, we're going to pretend that next January you'll be filing your tax return and have again five thousand pounds in tax to pay. So we want fifty percent this January and fifty percent in July. So you pay your £5,000 in January and then 50% on top of that, so 2500 again in January. So your tax bill is actually 7500 not the 5000 that you actually owe. And then in July, um, you'll pay another 2500 So you're basically paid £5,000 in advance of the following July, okay? The following January, sorry. So just to, just to say, that's how the payment on account system works, okay? And then, you know, so that's what it's doing. Just to say, so it's not a case of, you know, a fixed £5,000 that you pay yearly on top of your tax pensions NI. It's a way that HMRC get you to pay your tax for the next year in advance, which could be any amount. Okay, so if your tax bill is £1,000, they'll ask you for £500 on top of what you pay and then £500 in July. 
Okay, so it's not a fixed amount. It's based on your tax bill in that January. Yeah, I think it's something that, uh, you know, we never get taught. It's not well explained. And it can good accountant should guide you through this. And, and I think as a sort of general kind of ballpark rule, everyone's situation is different, but their accountants generally advise you to keep about 30 to 35%, depending on student loans, et cetera, back um, to, to cover that that bill because as if you've always been paye and your tax just gets taken off and then what lands in your account is your spending money it uh, can be a bit of a shock when you get everything in there and then uh, a bit later hmrc are like uh, can you pay me all that money back basically so yeah here's a you know just as a very quick um you know it's not real life example i've got i've got a really good friend who uh, is not self employed but he got a bought a second property um so again rental income um and was expecting X amount of uh, you know tax to be due. So I think he was actually withholding sort of forty percent on the rental pocket just for that tax year. Um, but he had no idea what comes in the account. And you know why would he? Nobody tells him about it. Nobody tells you anything about this sort of stuff. So he got absolutely stung by a big tax bill and said to me, "Oh Ed, what, what is this? Why am I paying so much tax?" And I had to explain to him, "Well, look, it's your payment on the account." And he didn't actually have the money to to pay for that. He had to like do a payment plan with HMRC and so on. So just yeah, try not to get caught out by that. It, it's something that nobody teaches you. Uh, it's, it can be quite painful if you're not careful. Yeah, but great question. So thanks for the question. I think the next question is for me.